in this video i'm gonna go over how to install your printer drivers on windows 11. on windows 11 the ui interface looks a bit different but the process is basically the same as on windows 10 so just go to control panel from the start menu and then look for view devices and printers and click on that then at the top left click on add a printer then go to the bottom where it says the printer that I want is listed and click on that. After that, click the last option that says add a local printer or network printer with manual settings. Go next. And then make sure that your printer is plugged in and select the port through which it's plugged in. For this example, I'm just going to leave it at printer port number one and go next. And then here I'm going to click on Windows Update so that it downloads all the drivers from all of the manufacturers that are listed this takes of several minutes it can take it can take a really long time so you really have to be patient you, patient you can walk away from the computer and come back later and, and then uh, continue the process so for me i skipped ahead a bit so now i'm going to search for my printer which is an hp laserjet now i have the laserjet uh, 1018 but I don't find the certificate for, for LaserJet 1018, so I normally just select LaserJet 1020. Uh, this is a very tedious part because you have to manually go through and look for it. So it takes some patience, but once you have it selected, then just use the drive that's currently installed, the recommended settings, and then just go next. Then it's gonna show you the printer name. And just go next, and it's gonna install the, the drivers, and then you can start printing. That's about it. So I hope this helps you. And if you can't find the drivers for your printer, just try Googling the name of the manufacturer with the name of your printer and drivers next to it. Sometimes you can find them available on the website of the manufacturer and download them from there. Um, if you have the drivers installed and it's still not working, maybe it's, it's possible that you have another issue with your printer, which then you might have to contact the customer support of the manufacturer.